Yes, Ethan, of course. I'll marry you. I love you so much. I love you, too. No, this, this, this can't be happening. This is all wrong. You're supposed to marry me. Teresa, I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe you should go. I, I hate to see you this upset. Upset, Ethan. My, my world is destroyed. Teresa, I am sorry. Don't cry. I uh, can't. Don't worry about Teresa. She'll be fine. You need to attend to your bride-to-be and have your uh, reunion celebration. Thank you, Mother. Ethan, please, can we, can we just talk? Now, Teresa, now, now, no theatrics. Why don't we let the happy couple here be alone? Teresa, please. Ethan, please don't... don't do this. I am begging you. Please, you can't marry Gwen. You have to marry me. I'm the one that you love. <sighs> Teresa, please, you're making a fool of yourself. Now, just, just stop it. I don't care if I'm a fool. I love Ethan, and he loves me. Ethan, you can't marry Gwen. You don't want to. Teresa, look, don't you know when to quit? He has made his choice. Now, come on, get out. Please, let me just talk to you. I am begging you. No, just, just leave. I'm not leaving. I won't. So, Teresa, please, you're making this so difficult. <sighs> Teresa, you are, you are a shameless tramp with a, without an ounce of dignity. Your mother, stop it. Just stop it. <sighs> Ethan, why don't we leave you alone for a few minutes with Teresa? Maybe you can help her accept your decision. Thank you. Gwen, thanks for understanding. Well, let's go. Teresa. Teresa, I am sorry that you are upset, but I've, I've made my choice. It's the wrong choice, Ethan. You cannot marry Gwen. It is a mistake. Do you hear me? You cannot marry her. Ethan, I just want you to know that we'll be right outside. Thanks, Gwen. <sighs> Teresa, you need to stop this, okay? You're just embarrassing yourself. I don't care, Ethan. I don't care about anything except you. You're my world, Ethan. I've never loved anyone but you. I believe you. I know how much you want us to be together, but it's not possible now. Things have changed. Gwen did this on purpose. She got pregnant to trap you. No, no. She didn't, Teresa. She would not do anything dishonest or underhanded. Would Gwen risk her life to save you, Ethan? Would she have jumped down an elevator shaft to save your life? Remember how touched you were, Ethan? Everything I have ever done was to show you how much I love you. And I have changed, Ethan. I will never lie to you again, I swear. I will never do anything but love you every single day until I die. Please. Ethan, what we have is a truly Incredible love. Don't give up on us. Don't spend the rest of your life with your second choice just because she's carrying your child. Teresa, don't do this to yourself. You're going to make yourself sick. Now, I've made my decision. I'm going to marry Gwen. Doesn't our love mean anything to you? Don't you remember that, that you proposed to Gwen twice before and she said no, Ethan? Have I ever said no to you about anything? No. See, I've always believed that fate would bring us together because our love is special. Before you came along, my love was special with Gwen, too. But I did come along, Ethan. And if your relationship with Gwen was so strong, you never would have given me a second look. If you and Gwen were meant to be together, you never would have had feelings for me. Teresa, you, you made Gwen think you were her friend. 
She didn't know that you were trying to get me to fall in love with you. She didn't know because fate means for us to be together. You really believe in this business about fate, don't you? You know I do, Ethan. Then think about this. What if Gwen getting pregnant is fate's way of putting me back together with her before you were in the picture? Maybe you and I were wrong, never supposed to be together, and this is fate's way of putting me back with the right person. No, Ethan, you and I are supposed to be together. I'm sorry. I, I don't see it that way. I think... No. I know that I'm supposed to marry Gwen. And nothing is going to stop me from doing that. You don't mean that, Ethan. You can't. You know how much you love me. You know that you and I are supposed to be together. Teresa, I have never denied that I love you. But I love Gwen, too. And there are other considerations. There are other important reasons why I'm going to marry her. Ethan, you can't say goodbye to me. I'm afraid I can. Teresa, you're young. You will meet somebody else. He will sweep you off your feet, and you'll forget that you were ever even in love with me. I will never love anyone but you, Ethan, never. You're the only man that I've ever wanted. You're the only man in my heart, in my dreams. Teresa, this has to stop, okay? I just asked Gwen to marry me, and I want to give her an engagement ring. Ethan, you can't. I can, and I will. I'm sorry, okay? I've made my decision. I think you should go. No, please. Don't do this. Teresa, I'm sorry. Gwen. Gwen, will you please come in here? Teresa, please, don't put yourself through this anymore. Teresa. Ethan, what's going on? Don't do this, Ethan, you can't. You will realize that you love me. I know you will. I love you. I want you to be my wife. We take this ring as a token of my love and commitment. Oh, yes, Ethan. Yes. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. I love you so much. But I can't believe this is happening. Please, no. I just can't wait until we're married. <laughs>